you, the suspense around here is palpable. Over the next 30 minutes, we'll be counting down the moments until this year's Oscar. Hey, there's the timer now. Stick with us, folks. We've got all kinds of fun on the way. Witty repartee. Who's the hottie over there in the gladiator outfit? I don't know. Maybe you'll have to ask him yourself. Incisive commentary. Free sucker! And of course, this guy. This is the estate of everybody. So stay with us as we savor every precious moment leading up to this year's Oscar ceremony with a show that promises to deliver all of the glitz, the glamour, and the big time production numbers you've come to expect from Talk Soup. Clear. All right, guys, let's go. Come on, move it. I'm freezing. Ow, ow. This thing is itching my butt. Admit that. Look at the camera and admit it right now. A damn man! Let me explain. What are you doing with a man? Oh, Chris. <laughs> oh, bam. Kid Rock, man. look out. Hey, 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 I'm your host, Aisha Tyler, and I'm all dressed up for the Oscars. I'm wearing $10 million worth of diamonds by Stephen Russell. But De Niro stood me up. Again. You know, that's fine. We're going to have a good time anyway. <laughs> Coming up on the show today, an amazing verbal war on politically incorrect. Also, a drag queen blind date. Plus, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> Look, if you have an angry extra groom at your wedding, instead of a bridal bouquet, I'd go for a bridal sock full of quarters. <laughs> Does more damage, that's all I'm saying. Eric dragged his girlfriend Desi to Chicago so we could tell her something. On the Springer Show! It was the on the Springer Show part that concerned her. Whatever he had to say, she didn't want to hear it in front of the Springer audience. But I guess you can hear it in front of the Springer cam because she took it along when she surprised Eric and his lover at a nearby motel. What the hell is this? Oh, man. Let me explain. Please, let me explain. It's not an old Who is this people, man? Just take a minute and hear me out. Sex shit? A man? No, it's, it's not at all that. It's not at all that. Really? Man, let me explain. Just take a minute. Okay. Okay. What is in my face? It's a chain rifle. Get away from me. You shut up. Man, I don't even know who you are. Oh, he's my boyfriend. Who do you think you are? Leave him alone. Nothing to do with it. I can't. Right? Get this bitch a out of here. A man? Lotion? Get this bitch out of here. Come on. Look at the way you're dressed. Listen a to me. Man? Where are you going? Please. A man? Please. Desi. A damn man? Desi. Let me explain. What the hell are you doing with a man? I thought you were with a woman. I'm trying to tell you. Would you please stop listening to me? I think you're sick. It's not what you're saying. I really think you're sick. Look what you're doing. If you're wondering how she knew where to go, it's because she's wearing the Jerry Springer Magic 8-Ball Jacket. It can actually be quite helpful. Oh, Magic 8-Ball Jacket. Is Desi's boyfriend cheating? Ah, yep, that's what I thought. But is he with a man or a woman? Oh, God, I hate when that happens. But hey, maybe this thing can tell us who's going to win the Oscar for Best Picture. Ah, apparently the eight ball jacket is red Dianetics. Okay. Time for one more question. Who's going to bring a magic eight ball to the Oscars? Whoa. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, do you get it? Yes. Soon on Springer, Jamie can't marry Chris until she confesses she's been cheating with his best friend. He falls in love with her all over again because of her honesty. Okay, not really. In honor of Oscar weekend, I just gave that one a Hollywood ending. I'm sure it goes poorly. Sometimes a young man takes a wrong turn in life. And if he does it while he's drag racing drunk, chances are he'll end up serving time in the joint. And that's how it went for 20-year-old Marshall. In this Inside Cell Block F clip, Marshall gets a question from a co-convict. 
Okay, well, you got a question for one of the members here? Yeah. Uh, you going to quit drinking when you get out, or are you going to keep on drinking and keep drag racing on Main Street? Did no. you win that race, by the way? No. Well, we were just playing around. I didn't win the race. He did. He's on a motorcycle, and we got a little Dodge Shadow. The motorcycle won the race. And uh, you know a little bit about drinking yourself, don't you? Yes, sir. And how much do you drink a day? Well, I'll, I drink about two cases a day. Two cases a day? Every day. Every day. And that's why they call it, what's your nickname? The Bud Man. The Bud Man. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Another one of these guys that can't just have one beer a day, you know, and we see all these uh, beer commercials on TV, uh, you know, maybe uh, we need to go in that direction a little bit. Hmm. And now for a dramatic reenactment of Marshall's drunken drag race. future inside cell block f more convicts tell their stories and it's not all drunken drag races there's drunken squirrel shooting drunken trailer painting drunken overall shopping drunken spam frying drunken drinking drunken drunkenness and just plain being drunk it's time for a break on this very special oscar weekend show still ahead is our oscar worthy clip of the week plus some people cry at weddings he yells and slaps the wedding cake different but effective and find out if getting dressed by drag queens make you a hot date or just makes you gay. Oh, thank you, boy. Wow. Good total party, Tom. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So, uh, who's the hottie over there in the gladiator outfit? I don't know. Maybe you'll have to ask him yourself. Well, maybe I will. Excuse me, cutie. What's your name? My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius. Commander of the Armies of the North, General of the Felix Legions. Okay, geez, I'm... Loyal servant to the true Emperor, Marcus Aurelius. Uh, what? Father to There's a murdered more? son, husband to a murdered wife, and I will have my vengeance in this life or the next. Okay, fine. I got it. I got it, all right? I got it with the Udimus and the Iximus and the Aximus, all right? I didn't ask to hear your whole resume. God, I'm totally not interested now. Way too much attitude. I want you to think real hard about what your spine is worth, Mr. Walker. Or what you might expect someone to pay you for your uterus, Miss Sanchez. Then you take out your calculator and you multiply that number by a hundred. Anything less than that is a waste of our time. By the way, we had that water brought in special for you folks. It came from Llewellyn Hinckley. our special Oscar weekend show. I'm Aisha Tyler. We've been having a lot of fun this week with some special guests, including Ed Masry, the lawyer Albert Finney portrayed in Aaron Brockovich, super groovy Pamela Day Barr, who was the inspiration for Kate Hudson's character in Almost Famous, and we had a real live gladiator here. So we're going to take a look back at some of the merriment now, shall we? How do you expect the American public to believe you've created a worthy parody of Aaron Brockovich with none of these people participating. Well, we managed to book you, Ed Masary, the actual lawyer who Albert Finney portrayed in the film. And isn't it true that this booking is a perfectly acceptable compromise? Well, uh... Well, it's too late now. We're committed to this whole Quills movie thing. Just, just go. God. Cover your air hole, Wilson. Don't listen to the mean French lady. Vite, vite, on the Riba, I don't really speak the French. Go. Any guesses? Yes, Alan. The Mac. Yeah, I'm sorry. We were looking for the name of a single rock star. That, that was in the early 80s anyway, dude. Uh, Will Chamberlain. I was number 8,265. And that, you know what, Russell, if you're watching, I got one thing to say to you. Anytime, anywhere, you hear me, you little Kiwi, I'll take you, I will crush you, and I'll smash you. You'll be... Oh. Somebody smell toast? <laughs> Jen is 21 and loves snowboarding, traveling, and life. 
Her blind date, Chris, says he has a good sense of humor and that he gets more confident every day. All right, excuse me for a minute. That's a whole lot of sunshine coming my way. <laughs> I just need to cut it a little bit with booze. All right. Whew, I'm fine now. Just took me a little bit by surprise. Here, the happy couple learns the art of high glamour. <laughs> Well, hello. Who's this? <laughs> I'm Alexis. I'm Chris. And this I'm Candy House. Candy House. And we're going to show you how to be glamorous today. Honey, <laughs> right, this is flaw. Oh, hand on the hip at all times. <laughs> you just always do that. Oh, kid, Chris. <laughs> oh, bam. Oh, kid Rock, baby. look out. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> I'll get up there. Get up there. Oh, oh, come on. Girl. <laughs> We gotta get a little bit of Marriage oh, made in we got, we got hell. I mean, Hollywood. <laughs> a marriage made in hell, baby. Hey, listen. If Hollywood. things don't work out on your date, give us a call. That's right. You got our number. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Best Supporting Actor and Actress Award in a Talk Soup clip goes to. Alexis Arquette. Oh! Beloved siblings, Rosanna, Patricia, and David. And what an honor it is to finally be recognized for all the time I've put into my craft. The face and tape job alone take at least 45 minutes. How long did it take you today? What, what do you mean? Don't worry, honey. Your Adam's apple doesn't show at all. <laughs> well, just take your award and go. <laughs> Fine. Nice dress. Coming up on Blind Date... Two Russians get an astrology reading. You could be on a weird American TV dating show with another Russian. In the name of everything holy, don't do it. Please, God. Those readings are always so vague. I mean, that could apply to anyone. Right? The hot tub is a great place to relax, chat with friends, and show off your big fake mammi. So it was the perfect place for ex-show host Daphne and her pals to talk about sex. Here they reveal what type of men they're attracted to. I definitely have been attracted to some guys that I wouldn't say are yeah, society cute. Absolutely. Yeah, me too. Totally. Like something have, about them. I fantasize about guys that I typically don't date. Like I find rocker types very sexy with tattoos and mm -hmm. they're very artsy and things like that. Um, but you know, they're, but they're not really with But them. they're not physically attractive. Because they're always they're lanky. Yeah, they're lanky right. and skinny yeah, and ratty true. hair and bad yeah. skin. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's still a bad boy thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so what? It, like for me, if a guy is really smart and funny, then that turns me on. Oh, oh yeah. What were you gonna say? Like? Oh, I was gonna say actually, I don't find guys who are really pretty, like model guys, I attractive. Yeah. No. That is not appealing to me. Or if they're like really ripped and huge, and you know they spend all this time on their body or something, that is not. That <laughs> doesn't do it for me. They're taking too much time looking at themselves, yeah. not looking at us. Tragically, the interview was cut short when one of the girls drowned. Her left implant sprung a leak and started taking on water, and the other girls tried to save her, but they were simply too buoyant to swim to the bottom of the tub. <laughs> Madison, you will be missed. In a related story, there's an opening at Bob's Classy Lady. <laughs> it's time for another break. Still ahead on our special Oscar Soup Weekend Edition, a big blow-up. Yes, that's Arsenio. Weird hair in the house. Hoo, 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 ho, ho. And introducing the new FTD, I Hate Your Guts Bouquet. It's got razor blades. Discover the magic of something sweet and dark. Discover the magic of boxy chocolat. I should probably warn you. If you make friends with us, you make enemies of others. Listen, Johnny Depp, if that is your name, you don't know who you're dealing with. I'm Foxy. Foxy Chocolat. I'm sorry, chocolate? Chocolat. Chocolat. It's French, and you don't want to mess with it. What is that? Me, Johnny Depp, because I'm Foxy. Foxy Chocolat. Free sucker! Solid. <laughs> Welcome back to Oscar Soup. I'm Aisha. Hey, guess what? We're going to start having live audience for Talk Soup oh, taping. Yeah. yeah! Our first show will be on Friday, April 6th. 
But if you want to get in, you have to know the password, which I'll give you in a moment. Here's how it works. Email your home address to TalkSoup at eEntertainment.com. Use the password as the subject of your email. Now, each live show has its own password. The password for the April 6th show is gumbo. That's a soup that my people like. So your email should look like this. Tricky, huh? And hurry up, because live soup is first come, first serve, baby. Come on, do it. There won't be any tickets left. My friends are going to cram the place. Free Lotus. <laughs> Watch Talk Soup for more upcoming passwords and audience show announcements. Wow, you know, Aisha, I had absolutely no idea. You look great. It does explain your height, though. <laughs> Alexis, for the last time, I'm not a drag queen, okay? I'm a real woman. Now, oh, honey, lose the shame and get a new name. How about Mochachina? Oh, yeah. Think about it. Get back to me. Uh, I hate it when a guy looks better in a dress than me. It's just driving me crazy. Larry and Kathy have been together for 13 years. Larry thinks it's time to get married. Kathy thinks it's time to get married, too, just not to Larry. No. She wants to marry Danny, the man she's been cheating with. All three of them are on the Springer show and dressed for a wedding. Here we'll see if anyone actually ends up getting married. Why are you wearing a wedding gown if you're not going to marry him? I'm not marrying him. I'm marrying him. Oh! Thank you! I think so. I love them, and I want to be with them. No. Oh, hear that, good Reverend Brooks. She can heave those flowers. Good. This is sick. Okay, please stand right here. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here to join this man and this woman Hell in matrimony. No. I ain't putting up Will you this. take this woman to be a wife? Will you live together within the estate of matrimony? Will you take this man to be your husband? Will you live together within the estate of matrimony? Hands please. And now. By the virtue of your consent, as written and spoken, I pronounce you as my wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> the way Larry destroyed that cake probably seems a little weird to you, but what you didn't see was this. Hey, Larry. Larry! Guess what? Your old lady's getting married to your buddy Danny. Oh, yeah. I'm their wedding cake, you loser. So what are you gonna do? Sit there like a panty waist or be a man. What's it gonna be, Larry? Your miserable excuse for a wait. What are you? No, no. Ah! No. Ah! 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 He had it coming. Coming up, it's our clip of the week. An amazing verbal war between Bill Maher and Arsenio Hall. <laughs> Want to write us a letter or give us some ostrich jerky? Mmm. Send it to Talk Soup Mailbag, P.O. Box 48972, Los Angeles, California, 90048. Hi, I'm Aisha Tyler, and I'm all dolled up for the Oscars. I'm wearing $10 million worth of diamonds by Stephen Russell. Oh, my, oh my God. Psych! Ah, I'm so funny. I'm witty. I think I, yeah, I'm good. Ooh, talented. Back in the days when Arsenio Hall had a show and a flat top, he was pretty non-confrontational. Now he's a free agent with braids, and he's all up in Bill Maher's face about who runs politically incorrect. Their verbal jousting made this our talk soup. Clip of the week. That may have been the way you ran your show, but I don't run my show that way. Whoa! Oh, Whoa. No, I actually don't think you run your show. That's the problem. <laughs> You don't think I run my show? Oh, Bill, you may run the, the, the little women that you hang with, but you don't run this. You know? <laughs> this, this is Michael oh, Eisner's show oh, right here. Oh, you know? oh, oh, oh. Disney runs this show, and there'll be another Bill Maher tomorrow if you don't admit that. Look at the camera and admit it right now. <laughs> You, wow. I, 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 guess you're, I guess you're just stirring it up, woof, woof, but... No, no 
I, I, you I, just started up. Woof, woof. I, I was waiting for a response. Trust me, the concept of Disney and the concept of politically incorrect I are at such odds opposed, that I yeah. fight every day. So you can say to keep tits. The integrity of this show. Yeah, that's the integrity, so you can say tits. No, so you can say penis measure. <laughs> what, what is your bitterness about losing your show that you have to take oh, it to me here? Hey. Well, I'm sad to say we've run out of time. Remember to catch Talk Soup at 7.30 p.m. every weeknight for all the talk show highlights. I'd like to thank our guest, Alexis Arquette, for being here. And hey, Alan's makeover's coming over nicely. Thanks for watching. I'm Aisha Tyler. Bye. Relax. I just got in here. Wait your turn, buddy. Look at the door! Apparently, even the most virile stars suffer from incontinency. Okay, okay, it's yours. Jeez, you really had to go, didn't you? You old guys and your prostates.